Hasty, the man, the myth, the legend. I have countless of videos where I take this incredibly powerful Viking ruler and conquer all over the world. But what if instead of focusing on just his life, we play this entire dynasty? From the very start in 867, all the way to the end in 1453. One dynasty, one legacy, and a lot of Viking adventures. With a long line of rulers and kings that can all trace their lineage back to the man himself. This is the third episode of the Hastings Saga! And today, we are playing as Filke Ragnar II, great-grandson of Hasty. Having ascended the throne at only five years of age, Ragnar has already proven himself as a true son of Hasty, conquering all of Britannia for their dynasty. But at the age of 50, his life is far from over, and Ragnar has a goal to conquer beyond the Isles and spread his dynasty all across Europe. Oh, and you know what would be absolutely great? And I mean this from the very bottom of my very hasty heart. It would be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel. So, if you want to become a hasty yourself, and make sure you don't miss out on my next videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, Ragnar is pointing at it. Yeah, just stare behind him. You can't miss it. And be sure to leave a like and a comment as well. It really helps the algorithm. Now, less talking and more rating. So, the current situation is this. We're 52 years old, and we've set up the succession safely. This is Prince Hastin, and his heir is Ragnar, just as it's supposed to go. Hastin, Ragnar, Hastin, Ragnar. That's how we'll have it until the world ends. Or rather, until we end the world. We do have some problems facing us. There is a lot of people that dislike the fact that they're being ruled by the Hastin Madman dynasty. One of those is all the Catholics in our current realm. But my beloved brother, Joel Hastin II, the handsome, who is uh, looking, well, not as handsome as he did look, but you can totally see that they did look handsome once. He's ready to start converting everyone. So, let's get that started. It's only gonna take 16 months for every county to be converted. So, we'll do that as quickly as possible. We also have another amazing thing that's going to come into effect very soon. Our legendary retinues, the knights that serve Hastin most loyally, is the blade master of Hastin, who oh happens to be not a blade master, but a contender, someone that is very good at winning tournaments for us. His successor is Bjorkfrit, Randolph, who is a blade master. But the second accolade is the first Mongol of Hestinia, a man that is, that's right, a Kipchak, who just happens to be in my realm for some reason. He gives us access to, when he reaches rank 4, a glory of a thousand, he lets us hire gosh darn horse archers. So right now, the most logical thing to do would be to just consolidate the realm and take care of the revolts coming. But we are sons of Hastin. We are not logical. We are warlike. So we're going to conquer an area. I'm thinking we'll take all of Sardinia. Akon Orgordorgorn. Sir, your name sounds like if someone took a bunch of vowels and threw them in a washing machine. I'm going to seize your entire duchy and use it as a raiding holdout. Raise the armies, call in the Jones Viking as they're totally for free. And let's set off towards Sardinia. Uh oh! Well, my beloved son Hörstak Nuto Ragnarsson, you're about to get crusaded. That's not good. That's not good at all. And the bastard even timed it perfectly with the war. Gosh damn it, now I feel stupid. We're going to disband all of our troops and not surrender this man. Oh my god, that's so much. We can't lose to that. God damn it, raise the troops again. We'll win this war as swiftly as possible. A whole crusade for Vesex. And to think we took this area so hard fought, huh? Well, we're going to have to use the fact that we have a bunch of kids and try to get as many powerful alliances as possible. Currently, uh, we're sort of lacking on that. But Princess Skuld, literally meaning death in Sweden, in Swedish, she could give us an alliance with none other than the Krul of Holmgarder. So, uh, as cruel as he is, let's make it happen. We'll also take some of our massive amounts of prestige and call in these allies into this war. Maybe they could even win this war for us. That'd be great. We also have to be careful, as we're gonna have a revolt as well. Things are looking quite hairy. But I think we could do is that as the war is going to be started by the Pope, oh God in heaven, we can't win this. But if we were for some reason be able to capture the Pope Martinus, well, 
the war would be nullified and we would win. Now, they're trying to take all of Vesex. It would suck to lose this in a crusade, but hey, that's what happens. We can always conquer it back. What's more important is that the Hastin realm survives. Yerder died? No! No! No, my little daughter, my little alliance! Gosh damn it, I'm super stressed. Now, my health is currently fine, but if I get frozen grief, more like just complete paralyzed by the fact that someone just died, that's gonna be a moderate penalty. I could also become melancholic, which is a permanent penalty, or a drunkard, which is a tiny penalty. Fine, we'll start drinking. I don't have a drinking problem. I drink, I get drunk, no problem. And now the Catholics are rising up against me. Huge issues, everything at once. If that isn't life, huh? One thing starts slipping and the whole mountain slides off. Well, we do have plenty of strong allies, and this war seems to be won just with these troops. So we'll take this boat and tell them to turn around. We're heading back and killing our own. But this is what I'm worried about. In nine months, we're going to have almost all of the Catholic world crashing down on us. Huge problems. Huge problems. As if the Crusades wasn't bad enough. We'll keep this holding. And when the Pope rallies over to Wessex, we'll go to the Pope and try to capture him in his holding. It's going to mean that we have to siege down Rome. But the Hastings dynasty is probably the best besiegers in the whole land. But now for the love of Odin, let's return home and take back our land. We're going to have to play the best crusader kings of our gosh darn life. But I believe we can do this. The problem is that the Catholics are very united and uh, we're not. It's literally just me, a drunkard lord and, well, the rest of the world. But the Catholic revolt has been suppressed. Ooh, very good. You see this man, Leader Jadwig? Well, I can ransom him out for a bunch of gold. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This gold I can then use to buy mercenaries if I were to need them. I can also stack my insanely powerful knights. These will fight for me, which is very good. That's one of the perks of being a viking. Everyone knows how to properly wield a sword. But still, this is really, really bad. I am the saint. I can't convert either. I... I can't turn my back on, 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 on Odin. There is one more thing we could do. And that's to hold here and beat off every army as they come. <sighs> it's either that or going for the papacy quickly. Well, here they come. Tyr protect us. That, that is the entire world. That is everyone. But I believe that we can win this. I'm going to take all of my soldiers and raise them here in Galura, including the Holy Order. But they're fighting for themselves. Then, I'm gonna try to capture the gosh darn Pope. We do it, or we die trying. Luckily, all my vassals are also willing to help. But there is nowhere near enough troops to beat them off. They have kings, we have counts. This could very well be the end of the gosh darn Hastings dynasty. We siege down the bastards and all of his holdings. No, no, <laughs> my no, no, lord, no, no, look no, at no, these no, armies! Wait, wait, wait. Massive armies! My brothers, do not fall! Come on, siege it! First holding taken. That was worth a whole lot. If they can't protect their own holy land. But the thing is, you can't white piece this. It's all or nothing. But alas, I don't think it's enough. We must return and we must fight. How are we gonna beat these men? Perhaps if we can sneak back a holding? We do siege fast and they're all dying to attrition. No, my brother has died. We can't pay for a funeral. Toss him off the boat. I'm so sorry, my brother, but we're in a crusade. We're about to lose everything our father worked for. But you see how they're all out of supply. They're starving in our lands. I have torched the fields. They scramble for food. They eat their mounts. And I still claim their capital. Perhaps with a bit of luck, we can win this. But we can't face them directly. That is suicide. We need to split off and flee into the countryside and fight with our allies who arrive by boat. And now we march in a glorious battle. The battle. The battle of Buckinghamshire. Where hopefully, if they trickle in one by one, we will be able to best them. Their armies starve. Their morale is splintered. We just have to win a few battles. Come on, keep holding. Keep holding. Oh, this is good. This is good. Yes, they're slowly filing in one after the other. Yes, yes, the Battle of Banbury. Let's go. We bested them. How was that only worth? Oh no. Take back what they stole from us. And our money is running low. Only by winning battles can we earn more money. As we gain gold for every man we kill. And we capture warriors left, right and center. And we watch as they file in to foolish endeavors. To wrest control of our lands. But nay, they will not. The Bumpots deserve nothing but the sword. The axe. Their lord is a weak one. 
They say your god was a carpenter. Well, can he fix this? Whoa. And all while this happens, Rome less sieged. This is how we will win, by whittling them down, bit by bit, until there's nothing left but a thousand corpses watering our fields. Muck em up, gentlemen, muck em up. Let em run, no one escapes. Finally, we're turning the tide. Maim, murder, slaughter. His troops, we're almost even. The Lord is deaf in Europe since the plague. Keep going, keep fighting, and keep learning. Like, never stop learning, guys. It's always important to become more healthy and kill him! Kill them all! Hey, another son, little, little Thorbrand. I'm just amazed no one of my dynasty has died yet. <laughs> Keep fighting! But alas, all this killing, we're running out of supplies as well. We're at 34%. We still hold Rome, and there's 39 to be won if we siege everything back. Let's try to get one holding back. Come on, if we're swift, we can do it. One holding taken. Now go back and slaughter their armies. Go, 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 go! 51%, all right. A battle here, a bloodshed there. They run like, like cats, like scared cats. And I'm thinking of Odin. That's right, that's right, Odin is with us. That reminds me, I'll uh, step down from the army a bit and go on an absolute bender and drink and seclude myself for a bit. You stay in a room, turn off the lights, have a good time. All right, I'm feeling refreshed. Let me go back to fighting. Fight, kill, maim. And my son, no, Ragnar. Ragnar Hasty is on your garbage. What, you, you're like a little plotter guy. Oh my lord, we, we have to win because the future is looking bright, but the future after that, oh my lord, not good. I'm sorry, grandkid, but like, damn, you're not, you're not a real hasty. Where did you all go, huh? God damn it, Europe will be in shambles after this. Let's swiftly steal it back. Look at this Ragnar. This Ragnar is way more like a proper Ragnar. Damn it, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Well, all of our lands are conquered. Now to just kick him out of the island. Do we not have a doctor? You're telling me we were fighting a crusade without a doctor on hand? Get one. Holy macaroni, we have 44 prisoners. Send out the ransom letters. We're about to be rich. I think we have every knight in Europe crowded in our prison. It's like in Guantanamo Bay over here. Well, it is safe to say that we have undeniably protected our place on this God's green earth. Odin favors Filke Ragnar the Holy, reformer of the faith, saint of Odin, and protector of Hastinia. The crusade has been won. The cross is broken. The papacy less ruined. Vesex remains ours. Oh my lord, how did we pull that off? How? Oh my god, I need, I need, I need some meat. I need meat. Listen, that's it. Celebration bloot. Big bloot time. Big bloot time. We're gonna bloot this random guy from France. Hilarious. Let's go. What a bloot, huh? And I'm whole of body. Just like good old Ragnar was back in the day, huh? My health is completely fine. But your health, my dude, <laughs> it's not gonna be fine. Bye bye. The bloot is over. It was wonderful. It was great. It was for the fate. Talking about for the fate, we have uh, quite a lot of prestige, which we can use to reform our wonderful little culture. A new tradition. Now, what do we need? Collectivized land is absolutely wonderful as it gives development in all of our holdings. But we could go with garden architects, which lets us have a gardener, which improves our development even more. But perhaps something more social, something in how we rule would be important. Or perhaps a bit of a ritual. We're going to go with a very controversial one. Only the strong. This will make our knights incredibly effective. But that will be at the cost of levy size. We will focus less on levies. And more on brave men fighting for us. This will probably bite me in the foot later. But I'll take it. Only the strong may be knights. We can also see that we've gotten very far in our culture here. So we're going to move over to the future and get communal government. We'll also keep converting. This has proven that the cross is too weak to oppose us. With Europe significantly weakened, let's get a revenge. Let's seize all of France, as well as all of Aquitaine. We're going big or we're going home. We'll raise our troops and get right over to France. We're going to go for Paris straight away. No need to beat around the bush. In we go. Gentlemen, vacation in Paris. Who was in Paris? The Vikings. Talking about being somewhere, we have a lot of crusaders in our court. We're going to execute most of them, except for those with exceptional prowess. Imagine thinking you were gonna go to heaven for fighting in a crusade, and you end up being executed by the gosh darn descent of Hastine. 
This man will make a decent fighter. This man will die. This man would be a good fighter. But this man, <laughs> he'll die. Right. Well, we just conquered Paris and got the man's heir. Hello there, little funny kid. Tr don't worry, man. We're gonna have you... Oh my god, he has consumption. Uh, probably isolate that boy. Don't let him cough on me. You catch him coughing, you put him in a coffin. Uh oh, we just lost one of our armies. But we swiftly got our revenge. Frankia is ours! Another hasty in W! <laughs> and far too many holdings. Oh my god, I'm getting an aneurysm just looking at this. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with this. Borders be damned. This is like when they divided up the Balkans. I mean... I'm just drawing lines on a map here. Here we go. Best of luck, my beloved nephews, children. Here we go. Who gets the Normans? Huh? Who gets the Normans? Who wants to be the first Norman? Gerald Ragnarsson. Perfect. Who gets to be the Dutchman? Who wants to play the Dutchman? Ah, of course. Ragnar, my, my, my grandson. And me? I'll keep Paris for myself. Such a goof just keeping Paris, huh? But I like it. But also take the Queen of West Frankie as our concubine. That's a big disrespect. Very nice. Very great. And so many people to ransom. Well, time to conquer Aquitaine. Problem now is that we're bound to have a whole lot of revolts. There's a lot of Catholics here now. And they're not very happy at us. But if there's one thing we're good at, that's killing Catholics. I can't believe it, but we're returning home. We've gone full circle. We're in Montaigu. Birthplace of Hastin. Well, not really. He's Danish, right? Ew. I'm descended from Danes. I guess I'll live with it. Do you think this was our home, huh? And now this is our home. <laughs> Are you a Norman yet? No. Become a Norman. <laughs> well, that's quite the list. We're just fighting all, and I mean all, of the Catholics. That's a bit of a problem. We should probably call in our allies for this one. And let's start clearing these out. Luckily, the revolts are rather weak. And we get our whole kingdom helping us out. We got a rat infestation. We got a big problem, guys. It's a matter of different, you know, opinions here. And their opinions, they're wrong. <laughs> Luckily, the revolts are mostly levies. But goddamn, we're killing a lot of people. Genghis Khan ain't got nothing on us. My son has typhus? No, stop. That's actually dangerous. He no longer has typhus. Blessed be Odin. Odin attack, Odin protect. But most importantly, Odin check if you're alright. The French Catholics have been dealt with. Time to kill the Britannians. The Bretons? Oh my god, now the French Catholics are rising up. This is just the same revolt again. Oh well, sharpen my axe. I'm going out killing Catholics again. God damn it. I'm gonna have to repent. I'm gonna have to do like at least 15 Ave Marias in real life to repent for this. Even though it's just a video game. But we got little Bragi Ragnarsson here. And I'll teach him to be a proper good warfighter. Well, <laughs> second Catholic uprising gone. Thank you very much. And Captain Friedrich of the Hastinian Band of the Moon. Did you seriously make a, a mercenary company in my own name? That's, that's copyright infringement. You know, you can't just do that. How big is our dynasty? 79 members? And a total of three sub-houses? Oh my god, the thinning house. <laughs> Graphic design is my biggest passion. <laughs> Where does our dynasty rule even? Mm -hmm. I was like expecting to see them rule somewhere else, but like, nah, I guess it's our realm. Which is fine, I'm not complaining, it's a big realm. Would have just been fun to see that one of our siblings went off to like England or, you know, maybe even better, <laughs> Spain, I don't know. And now my concubine is trying to romance me. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it, why not? This woman has a claim on Norway. Sorry, ma'am, if I want a claim, I'll take it myself. The Norwegians have turned. They're no longer proper Vikings, that I'll say. Well, Önund Ragnarsson totally just died from his wounds. And that makes me really, really sad. You know what I do when I'm sad? I drink. <laughs> I drink a lot. I'm so sorry, but that's just how I deal with things. There's no Viking therapists. Vikings rely entirely on backpats and encouraging words. You could do this, Ragnar. No, I've seen you raid. You're not useless. You cut a man in half in England just two days ago. Viking support group, huh? Well, we just conquered Aquitaine. Wonderful. Hastinia? Gross. Like a lot. Like a whole lot. Let's raise a runestone to commemorate that. And put it in Barcelona. Wonderful. Uh, do I have enough siblings? And, and sons to give this land away to? Sure hope so. But who gets little Montaigu, huh? I mean, that's a... That's a huge... That's a huge region. We can't just give that away to anyone. God damn it, I'll hold it myself. Montaigu shall remain under haste in rule. We have two fun options here. As I'm quite healthy, at the age of 67, I'm still perfectly fine. Even though I'm a drunkard and possessed, I could either go for dismantling the papacy, which means that I have to conquer all of Italia. Now that would be some wars, but not impossible. Italy would go in one holy war, 
the Papacy and Benevento in another, and then a matter of taking these areas. Another option would be to secure the Mediterranean. That would net me even more renown and give us masters of the Mediterranean for our whole dynasty. Just straight up development growth, as well as a cool kingdom we can give away to someone. All we need is to take Majorca, Corsica, and Sicily. But tell you what, this is Filke Ragnar the Holy. So taking out the Papacy, that's what we'll do. All of Italia must be ours. So a whole war against Italy, a bit of a skirmish against Venice, yep, it's certainly doable. <laughs> Especially as he's very very weak. A lot of people would come to his aid however, so we could use the invade kingdom causes belly. But I'll hold off and use that against the Byzantines instead, to take all of Sicily. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do, as well as this one county and all of Italy. When Hastim comes to play, he plays. The war against Italy will be the main war, that's the one I'm actually worried about. The Byzantines are in absolute shambles. I don't think their empire will survive that long, especially as this obese, rakish woman with an absolute messed up face rules. Let's raise all the lads and, of course, the Holy Order. And let's take out the Byzantines first. Once again, it's like goddamn Viking D-Day up on this one. But of course, the Catalan Catholics have, have decided to raise up. How many troops you say? Use the cash on 30,000! Gosh damn it. it. It's almost like they know, huh? Well, we'll send these two detachments home and we'll whittle them down. A whittle by whittle. <laughs> Beating back these holy wars is of utmost importance. If they win, the Christians get hope. We can't have that happen. Woo, another revolt dealt with. Very good. Public execution time. Hopefully, we can gain some control. We, we desperately need it. Oh, come on! Another casual 9,000 men just shows up and says, I ain't done yet. I ain't hear no bell. The war against the Byzantines is raging on. And our little bout to take over these areas... Oh my god, it's just starting, but it's already chaotic. And we just captured, oh yeah, all of Sicily. God damn it, I'm evicting the Pope. <laughs> it's really happening. Any cool kids here that want to own the whole island of Sicily? Ragnar Thorbrandsson, perfect. You're the king of all of Sicily, my boy, including Malta. No taxes there, though. No taxes. God darn it, my prison is too full again. Do I need to do some spring cleaning in there? Maybe like get a dust mop or something? Well, Benevento is taken. We'll have to do the rest in another war. Now we're heading straight for his capital. The Italians have had it too good for too long. We're taking them out. What on earth are the Italians doing? You cook the pasta, huh? Well, I just took the French Art of Strategy. A wonderful book. But alas, it seems we have a bit of a problem. I'm being completely murdered over here in Italy. Uh oh, not good. That's it, we're allying the Africans. It's a reverse Ethiopia on this one. We're calling in the Africans to fight Italy. <laughs> we'll take our new lovely African allies and we'll start sieging the Italians down. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Holy macaroni. The new African allies have come in <coughs> and they're handing me a Hastinian Warhammer. 11 prowess, two extra knights and more knight effectiveness. This is a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Come on, I'm not gonna live forever. There we go. Italy is ours. <laughs> hey, Stinia. For this, I'm just gonna usurp the whole title and give it to Valdemar. Valdemar, you're, you're a cool guy. Take all of it. Take it all. You could have it all. We should probably make more kingdom titles with the gold we have. West Francia. Who's the big dog here, huh? I mean, I do like this guy, so why not? Damn, that's a lot of land. Now to get the papacy out of here, we will need a bit more land. Now all we have to get is Benevento, Spoleto, the papacy and Venice. So let's steal Venice and Spoleto, Lanciano and of course the big cheese. I'm taking all of the papacy. Raise the lads and no, the, the Pope imprisoned me. He, he took me down before I could raise my armies. Oh my god. No. The last revenge of the Pope. God damn it! I can't believe you done this! I hate you, Pope! God damn it, I got bamboozled! Horrific! Well, it goes to show! Even Hastings can get crumped! Well, we're flat broke, we'll have to ransom even the poorest ones! And now I'm starting to get demented? No! Life! Life is ending! Time is running out, my health is poor! No! Please! Let me live! Let me live just a bit more! Well, if there's one thing I live for, that's battle! So that's what I'll keep doing! I'm old as heck, but my, but goddamn, my prowess still keeps up. Who would have known this man would live this long, huh? Considering his life choices. Not me, man. Well, I think it's the Italians' turn to revolt, but we took Spoleto, which is great. Now, we'll simply go and uh, full-on Duke Nukem kick everyone down. It's time to kick balls and eat steel.
And I'm all out of steel. Well, Italian Catholic Uprising dealt with. Guys, you're gonna learn that things don't work like that around here. All of France is now also true, so... Uh, we'll start with the Italians too. I'm working on softening up the Frenchmen so they accept me a bit more. I could form a hybrid culture, but that seems sacrilegious at best. And dangerous at worst. Well, it's time for the slightly different Catholics to rise up once more. God damn it, you goofballs. Let me just war in peace. That still stresses me out something terribly though. So hopefully we'll do the good old combo. We'll drink, we'll go for a run, <laughs> and we'll seclude ourselves right after. God damn it, you absolute schizophrenic. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, we unlocked a new dynasty legacy. Nice. We'll keep going down Studio's youth. Better education tray for our dynasty is very important. Especially as that dynasty keeps growing. We're 114 members. You better believe it. We could fill up a goddamn theater. Well, Catholic Uprising 2, Electric Boogaloo. And we got a scale mail armor. You telling me Hastings has been out here without an armor? I mean, I believe it. Well, it was bound to happen. I'm gonna be dead soon. That's a problem. Well, there ain't much we can do with our prestige because that dies with us. But I could go out on my own, but nah, I, I'll let death take me, fairly. The man taking over is uh, kinda garbage, I'll be honest. And we're not really inheriting a huge fortune either, quite the opposite, just a bunch of wars. But every man has to face the music he wants, so uh, prepare yourself for the last rites. We're sending you off in the longboat, and you can fight on your way to heaven. One more one, feel like I gotta really speed this up here, we'll go for Venice too. Now I'm terrified of succession. I'm not even gonna look at it. I just think it's gonna go real, real bad. But what we can do is ransom out as many prisoners as possible because we will inherit the gold. And we should have enough prisoners in the prison that we can quickly gain up our piety and our dread. All right, Def, let's do this. What? Oh, I lost the war and I got broke. No, no, all that money I needed for the succession. No, oh God damn it. I can't die broke. Ay! Well, after 75 years, Filky Ragnar crawled his way to 80 and died from a seizure. Talking about seizures, Filky Ragnar II, breaking the tradition of renaming himself Hastin and Ragnar back and forth, now takes the throne. Long live the emperor. Just one little problem. Italia has broken away as their own empire. But the rest more or less remains intact. We'll end these wars, but we'll conquer this area. We're currently an intrigue character, going all about dread, and that's probably the only way we'll be able to keep this realm intact. But we need to go back into martial quickly. Authority focus. We will rule with an iron fist. We're currently on 36 dread. Now luckily, we also inherit our father's prison. So, we can quickly gain a bunch of gold by ransoming a bunch of people. Or even better, a bunch of dread. We'll also reform our court. We're going to be really clever about this. As everyone absolutely hates me, we will need everything in our power to rule. And here we stand, as Filke Ragnar II, the trickster of the Ostro Filkeret, half the ruler that his grandpa was. Alas, Emperor Tuki Asason rules Italia, the empire, with an iron fist. But alas, with a swift war, the whole realm could once again be subjugated under the rule of the trickster. Will Filke Ragnar be able to consolidate his realm once more? And drive the Pope out into the sea? Or is he doomed with his pitiful education to send the hasty dynasty into the nothingness of history? That we will see in the next episode. If you like this, leave a like, consider subscribing, and comment hasty down below. And tell me, which hasty character has been your favorite so far? Is it Filke Ragnar the Holy? The destroyer of the crusade? Filke Hastin the one-armed? The man that literally ruled for like a month? Got killed by the Englishman and plunged the realm into chaos. Filke Ragnar the Cruel, the man that made the empire. Or the original OG, King Hastin, the man that captured Moon. Let me know down below and we'll see who wins. Until next time, my name is Goldfish and stay awesome guys. Yeet.